What is going on guys and girls? Level up here at On Point Gaming's On Point Tactical and today we're going to talk about the L85 assault rifle that we got in China Rising for Battlefield 3 and I know you're thinking that's a 320. Well you gotta get a kill with a 320. Go ahead and check that off of the list. You gotta obtain three assault rifle ribbons and you also have to get a kill with a pistol right there. We checked that off of the list as well. You gotta get a kill with a defibrillator. Zap! We got that one dealt with. And then this clip here, getting the last of my assault rifle ribbons necessary. I have not actually been using the assault rifles a whole lot thus far. I've been working on the PDLEs and the carbines. Um, but I did have to play with the assault rifles, of course, to get this unlocked. And I believe that this next kill, right here, yep, assault rifle ribbon. We unlock the beautiful and somewhat odd looking L85A2 and we are on our way of course getting shot because that's how this game works. Now if we go to simfig.com we will see that there are not any stats for any of the Trina Rising weapons so far which I thought was kind of odd because usually they get kind of up to date with it but of course brand new game new code that is terrible and well, quite, quite frankly, the weapon itself, I think, is borderline overpowered along with the MTAR. This is the new M16A3, and I mean that, literally. Now, since we don't have any actual, like, stats from the game code, we're gonna go ahead and just look at the battle log version of weapon stats, which is kind of pitiful. It has a damage rating of 30, which of course means 25. <laughs> It has an accuracy rating of 35, which of course means, like every other assault rifle, it most likely has a .2 ADS spread. A hip fire of 55, which means its ADS spread, or its um, hip fire spread, is probably one and a half, two-ish. The range is 28, probably 55 meters. The rate of fire is 800, and this is where it just sort of takes off versus other uh, versus any other gun. It has a recoil pattern, at least from from what I can feel. I, I mean, I, I don't really know because we don't have the official recoil stats. But it feels really similar to the M16A3 in Battlefield 3, meaning not very much recoil. Really hardly at all. It, gets, it has some horizontal recoil, but there's not much recoil up um, when compared to some other weapons. But overall, it's just a really good gun. Uh, I mean, it doesn't seem to fall short. I mean, it is annoying that even though I don't know um, by stats, I can tell you that the reload time is about a half second longer than the actual animation, which of course we need a patch. Um, but I mean, other than that, there's not a whole lot to complain about other than the fact that that darn reload thing is messed up. And that's really not that big of a deal. Suppressed, it makes a pretty darn good gun. It kind of just floats around, I guess you could say, is what its recoil just sort of feels like. Of course, you lower that muzzle velocity, you're going to hurt your long-range capabilities. But it just is the new M16A3. I'm going to keep this video sort of minimal because I don't have stats for it, which of course means that it's going to be kind of a lame and pointless video. But yeah, I would definitely recommend that you complete the assignment, at least try the gun out. Whenever Simthic updates the website with weapon stats that the L85 is included in, I will do a full review and uh, I will let you guys know. Now something for my subscribers. I don't think I'm going to continue calling myself Level Up. I think I'm going to become the U.S. Ranger, or I might stay around, but I had to switch gamer tags, and it doesn't really make a lot of sense if in the game I'm U.S. Ranger 379 if I'm actually Level Up. So that's just something for you subscribers. The rest of you that are visiting, I really appreciate that you stopped by to watch the video. And I hope to see you guys on the battlefield.
Make it! 